Mix It With Mike plug-in of the week comes from Universal Audio. The Fairchild Tube Limiter Collection is now native on UADX for individual purchase or part of the subscription. Uh, this is a great, and in, in my opinion, uh, the best Fairchild emulation that's out there. If you think there's a better one, let me know. Uh, I haven't found one yet. Uh, basically, what we have is standard Fairchild 670 uh, or 660. You get both the monoblock or the stereo version. Uh, in the stereo version, you get all of the standard controls on off switch for uh, bypassing the unit. The input meter here will show uh, the meter here will show input uh, game reduction or output. By default, it's a uh, game reduction. Left input and right input gain controls, left threshold controls, time constants. The time constants will run from one to six. The first four are single stage releases starting at 300 milliseconds and ending at 500 milliseconds here. This is a dual stage release. Uh, the uh, uh, setting five and setting six is a three stage release. Um, the first stage um, responding to the initial peak second stage responding to uh, the secondary peaks um, like non-transient uh, other types of peaks and then uh, then you have the sustained uh, release which you get on the number six setting all the attack times are faster than a millisecond down to 0.2 milliseconds so pretty fast um, and you know we can go through all of that but that's all in the manual if you're interested um, this will operate in uh, stereo left right mode or it'll operate in lateral vertical uh, mode which is mode it was set up for used being used as a limiter for uh, the front end of a cutting lathe for cutting vinyl and uh, or cutting lacquer and uh, and so it's very effective with that and more or less what you're getting with the lateral vertical is mid channel side channel so basically ms and translation there are some uh, added features here. We have link controls for the side chain and for the controls themselves. So you can have them operate a bit independent of each other or have them uh, be linked entirely in terms of the side chain or the controls that's independent. There's a side chain filter. Now, when you initially click out of it, it's actually more dramatic than what you think in terms of its effect on uh, the game reduction. It goes all the way up to 500 hertz. So that's pretty cool. And it has a, a detented off position there. Output level controls here. A wet dry in case you want to run a uh, heavier compression and mix in a little bit. We could play a little bit with that. And then this is interesting here. There is a, um, a DC threshold here which allows you more or less to change the knee characteristic. Um, there are two ways of looking at it. One is that it changes the knee. You see the settings here. That's the easy way to look at it. The other is that it changes the ratio. Uh, however you look at it, uh, with the sharper knee, you generally get a higher ratio. Something always ends up towards limiting at some point. The two settings here you can click on. This is the normal um, stock calibration setting. Uh, this is the Oceanway uh, recording setting. This is the uh alan sides fairchild i think there was more than one that they emulated that they went through and uh, that's the way he has it calibrated slightly soft softer knee and i actually find that that setting works incredibly well for most of the types of things that uh, i do with it a um, couple of other controls here that are very cool the headroom control the headroom control as you turn it upward will bring up input level virtually and output level by the same amount. Uh, thus, with these basic settings, just by driving this, you'll get a bit more saturation on the input components and then eventually hit the threshold here if you're not hitting it already. Um, and then it will uh, adapt the output gain uh, by the same amount. So it's basically in the digital realm calibrating the input output, or you could set the headroom lower. This would lower the input level coming in uh, giving you a bit more headroom to deal with if the program material is very hot. So it gives you that control. The balance control here is a unique one. Uh, basically, it's like a DC offset. Um, and essentially what you can get 
and I haven't really played around with this much, but you can get a little bit of a thump. Like you put it in like on drums um, and maybe get a little bit of extra like thuddiness out of the kick. Now it comes in the form of a DC offset. So if you crank it one way or the other, it'll just push it into the negative leg or the positive leg uh, one way or the other. But it's just an interesting thing that you can play around with. I honestly haven't played around with it at all so but just uh so you know what it is let's get to the basics i think what really makes this thing sing is just the general sound it's like a million tubes a million transformers weighs 65 pounds and uh it's a behemoth weren't a lot of them made and um and uh goes back to the 1950s rain norma um and uh instantly became very popular and is, you know, many consider the holy grail of compressors. Let's uh, check it out. We'll run a little audio through it and just uh, vibe on this a little bit. I'll go through some of the different settings here. Past is hard for me to get away from Those things I've done is really kind of making this a little uneven. I'll put in the uh, sidechain filter here. Past is hard for me to get away from Those things I've done I know they can never be undone Still I'm wrecking home adds a fullness and a richness and a depth to the sound. Um, I think the single stage release settings in this particular usage aren't really working. That could kind of work a little bit more. Uh, the drums are a bit soft. It's got like a shuffle beat. So, you know, it's not something that sort of uh, if it needed like some kind of more pumping and breathing kind of reaction to kind of glue the mix, usually a one setting or maybe a two setting will do that pretty well. This with the multi-stage release will kind of allow it to be more of an overall kind of glue to the track and it works like that well. Um, another way to use this is in a lateral vertical mode. Um, we could keep the side chain link so it would still compress uh, both the same. Let's see uh, let's see what we have here. We'll play around with it. Past is hard for me to get away from Those things I've done, I know they can never be undone. Still, I'm wrecking hopes, broke your heart without a care. Left a trail of tears, lived in fear, and now you're scared. Oh, 
one thing I was just trying to ex experimenting with here was kind of making creating more movement here. I get a faster initial release on the sides uh, and a slightly slower release just to kind of create more space in the mix. Past is hard for me to get away from those things I've done. So you can get a bit more openness from it that way, uh, working in mid-side mode. Uh, one other thing that we could do here, let me just link everything back up here, get it all uh, right set back. I can just option click to set this back to its default settings. Okay, there we go. Uh, one other uh, quick thing here, just kind of running it in parallel. One uh, thing that I really like here, turning it up to a four setting. Uh, and we're going to get some really heavy compression here. Past is hard for me to get away from Those things I've done, I know they can never be undone So target about 10 dB of compression, and then let's dial a little bit in. Past is hard for me Things I've done, I know they can never be undone. Still, I'm wrecking homes, broke your heart without a care. Left a trail of tears, lived in fear, and now you're scared. So the idea there is that uh, getting the heavy compression in there, you really just get a super dense version of the whole mix. Mix a little bit of it in. I don't know how that amount, how much that amounts to. Maybe twenty five percent, maybe thirty percent. Um, you know, find that right balance in there. Balance your output to make it unity gain, and you could hear how it just adds a little clarity a little focused everything kind of details everything makes the imaging just a little bit more clear pretty cool uh there's lots of things that you can do with this anything that you do with a fairchild uh you may have many other ways of using it i love using it uh sometimes on kick drums doing parallels for drums parallels for almost any instrument it could work sometimes sounds great on vocals uh, especially one that needs a bit of body and warmth um and it's just pretty powerful on almost anything uh, it's a classic for a reason. Now it's made available um, in uh, native form by Universal Audio. Uh, it's uh, definitely worth checking out if you are if you're not in on the UAD system with the satellites and all of that sort of stuff and the interfaces, but you really want to get into it. It's definitely worth checking it out. Uh, the code is identical. Uh, every plugin that I've gone through that I've done in UADX cancels out perfectly the only exception to that might be the motown chambers but that might make sense just because of some of the randomness there everything else cancels out completely so it is a, a code um exact version just native definitely worth checking it out plugin of the week from universal audio the fairchild tube limiter collection now native on uadx